the first is called business requirements so business requirements are like very very high level requirements um that the business owners will ask us to do for example i can give you multiple examples for business requirements so the business owners generally they don't have any kind of technical knowledge right so they are aware only of the business goals and objectives of the business suppose i am a restaurant owner okay and i want to have a website for my restaurant and uh, that re- uh, website must be very user friendly and uh, customers can log in create an account and uh, they can apply coupons and uh, they can also order online and uh, when they order online right they get they should get a email notification stating that the order is ready for pick up or it's ready for delivery and um, going forward yeah so these are different types of business requirements so when we say business requirements the business owners will be like they don't have any technical knowledge how this can be done so they will be telling you i need a website and uh, these are the features that i want so they will not know how you are going to achieve that so this is like i told you for a restaurant right Let, let's take another let's take for airlines okay so if um, there is an airline owner who wants to create an uh, Uh, an additional feature okay for check in so um earlier you know that it will take long time to you need to go to the airport and then check in and all that but now you can do it online itself so that's something new right so they would they don't know how you can achieve that feature but they will ask you that okay in order to have a cu- customer satisfaction i want this additional feature where they can check in online before even we st- uh, start uh, going to the airport Uh, the customers can check in online itself so that's a new feature i want so this is all like high level requirements uh, especially this will come from uh, project i mean like high level people right for example business owners directors or uh, someone like uh, who is on like who is responsible for that particular um, business they will give you requirements and they have no idea how you will be achieving it so they will give an overall perspective of what they want Okay, let's take a let's take an example where the customer is or, ordering like monthly monthly subscription for um, like for a particular diet. Okay, let's say the customer wants to do some ketogenic diet. Okay, and he is like very busy and he doesn't want to do himself, so he is like um, subscribing um, and. Um, a uh, catering agency where they are going to deliver every day they are going to like give him three meals everything is going to be ketogenic okay now in that case like what will the customer do the customer has to like uh, place an order online and customer has to enter all the details and then has to specifically say that that he needs a ketogenic uh, diet on ketogenic menu only okay for all like three meals so this is like very specific a business requirement so as a catering agency they may have like lot of menus but um, that menu will differ from customer to customer so now this customer wants only like ketogenic meals okay so when he enters the website um, when he enters his details it should ask for preference okay now i want only ketogenic for all my three meals and um, how it needs to be uh, done whether it's going to be pick up or uh, they are going to deliver to your address so that is all like very specific business requirements even though you have one website that website may have like multiple menus and multiple different options for dis- different customers so these are all like business requirements another thing is like suppose he doesn't like that okay and he's like bored of that meals and he wants to deactivate his subscription now it should like the as a business owner you'll be like why he is deactivating like how many customers have deactivated what's the reason so uh, the business owners may give an optional survey uh, stating that it's no longer needed or bored or like uh, doesn't like the taste so something like that right so they can give an optional survey so the business owners may ask us to develop an optional survey when the customer deactivates the sub- subscription like an optional s- survey should um should be popped up and um, they can fill that okay they can give us feedback so these are like to improve the business uh, the business owners will ask us okay to do these kind of features in that particular website 
okay and then um uh, and uh, for example like let's go for like uh, for a doctor's office okay now a doctor is having a website and uh, he needs uh, the customers to book the appointment online only so when they book the appointment um they can choose the time slots like from 9 to 9:30 from 10 to 10:30 they can book their time slots but once they book their time slots an email notification or a text notification to their mobile needs to happen and also when when the appointment uh, before the appointment before 24 hours or before 48 hours like whatever is a customer's expectation there should be an alert right like you have an appointment with this particular doctor at 9 o'clock on this particular day so these kind of email notifications has to go so these are like business requirements so the doctor's office will ask you to develop a feature in their website stating that when they uh, schedule an appointment online they should get an e- email notification and it depends upon the um, the customer's preference whether it's going to be email or text or both uh, whatever it can be they should get a notification and if they cancel also even if they cancel they should get a notification stating that uh, your your appointment scheduled for this particular day has been cancelled so these are like new business requirements these are like very very high level requirements and uh, usually the business owners don't know how you will achieve it but they will ask you to uh, develop this feature so some of the examples i have given here so um if they want to cancel an order there must be a reason so that is like they must give a reason or the reason can be other okay so that is a functional requirement and if there is a delay in the order or if the order is being cancelled okay by the um, restaurant then there should be an email notification stating that um, the order is delayed by 10 minutes 15 minutes or whatever uh, menu are requested is not, is not there now so the uh, the order is being cancelled so that email notification that is very specific feature okay that is a functional requirement and um, if for example uh, if there are some cancellation charges so you're placing an order and then if you're going to cancel that okay uh, if there are any cancellation charges before the um, the customers click that cancellation button right it should pop up stating that if you cancel this you'll be charged like five dollars or ten dollars so that is a feature that's a functional requirement so something like very very specific to that functionality okay that's they are all called as functional requirements the third one is non-functional requirements so non-functional requirements are something that is like um that is different from functional requirements for example scalability portability usability and simplicity so i'll explain these uh, one by one in detail what is scalability so scalability means like today you are developing an application that is used by 10000 users and as time goes on we need to scale that application like how how many people can use it right it could be like 30000 people 50000 people it has to increase if the business is increasing um, if the users are increasing for that particular application we need to like scale the product right how many people can use it so that is scalability so let's go one by one speed is very important so you are developing an application and how fast it can quickly can give results search results and how many people can uh, use that application whether it's 10000 people or 50000 people or more than that and um, whether like um, uh, it's secured okay whether the firewalls are included to prevent any unauthorized access and uh, whether it's user friendly whether it's so the front end should be not be very complicated and it should be user friendly okay all these are non functional requirements non functional requirements in the sense functional means your developer or your engineer will develop it okay that feature for example login feature he will develop it and you can also test that okay you give a username and password it's logging in okay that's functional requirement and you'll be testing it whereas non functional requirements the speed portability scalability and also security and usability and all right it will not be included uh, it not it cannot be developed by i wouldn't say it cannot be it can be developed but usually these are like very on a large scale requirements so as a totally as an application we need to do this this is not for regarding to any particular feature or a function
okay so that's a difference when they interview in the interview if they ask you what's the difference between functional and non-functional requirements just state that every single feature that's able that the developer develops and if they're able to test it that's functional requirement non-functional requirements are something that is related to scalability security usability and all that those are non-functional requirements